Hello there again everybody, David again, right here with one of the tutorials that I've been posting on YouTube. Beforehand, I would like to uh, say sorry and, uh, well, say that I'm, 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 I'm really sorry because of my throat, my voice is, uh, is very bad because I've been through a very uh, hard cold and uh, my voice is and my my I have a sore throat so uh, please bear with me today we will be covering DHCP server creation DHCP it stands for dynamic host configuration protocol and that is the protocol that gives your devices be it a computer a tablet a cellular phone a laptop, a desktop computer, uh, your refrigerator, uh, your iron, what have you, an IP address. It works even on IPv6, either IPv6 or IPv4. Today we will be covering IPv4 only setup. So what is it good for? What do I do with DHCP? Well you can um, set up a DHCP server on your network so you do not have to go and set up a hundred or a hundred thousand devices manually because well it would be a pain in the ass and uh, you do not want to go uh, remembering well what IP have I used even if you have an, uh, an spreadsheet with all of your um, IP addresses and what have you, uh, at some point it will fail. It will fail. So uh, what solution will suit you? Well, DHCP is your friend. And uh, today we're going to set up a basic and uh, a very awesome in my humble opinion uh, DHCP server with the help of our good old friend Microtik router OS so to do that we need to make sure uh, that some of the steps that uh, some of the yeah some of the steps are met and some of the requirements are met to make sure that the HCP works on our network well okay DHCP works on the broadcast domain and I am not gonna go into detail on the Aussie and blah 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 so DHCP works on a broadcast domain you need to remember that and if you have a bridge and uh, you have interfaces bridged on your Microtik device, you need to make sure that the DHCP server that you will set up is running on the bridged interface. The bridge interface, not the bridged interfaces, but the bridge interface. So, in my case, let's see. Uh, I do have a, um, I do have a bridge dash hs which is my hotspot device but i um, don't want to do that i want to run my dhcp let's see my interfaces uh, i have uh, some uh, vlans here so uh, uh, what if i create a um let's see i am going to create a new IP address on one of the interfaces that I'm not using so uh, that would be 10.11.12.1.24 on the SFP SFP plus one interface I hit apply then I hit OK and I already uh, have an interface with an IP address. That's the first requirement for the IP um, 
uh, for the DHCP server to work, then you have to make sure that that interface is not bridged because if the interface is bridged, you need to create the DHCP server on the bridge interface. So let's go to that. So you click IP, DHCP server, you go into the DHCP tab, and you click this nice DHCP setup button. Now you follow the wizard. You have the DHCP, well, okay, that's a coincidence. It is uh, choosing the right interface, the SFP, SFP, SFP plus one interface. Then it tells me that the IP space is uh, 10.12, uh, 10.11.12. Uh, that's the network where the DHCP server will reside, and that's okay. The gateway will be the this IP 10, 12, 10, 11, 12, 1. That's okay. So we click next. Here it's telling me about the pool. So uh, the range of IP addresses that we will we'll be delivering to my clients. This is nice for this is uh, okay, nice for this demo. So I'm gonna click OK. And uh, DNS servers that will be given or handed out to my clients. This is okay too. Uh, so let's remove this 12 thing. That's not working. Uh, the list time, 10 minutes uh, because of the new standards and new ways of using the internet. This is more than enough. So. I click next and there you go you have your DHCP server created with the name and then as you know Microtech create creates a network which is right here you can customize the domain so I want to go to example.com I want uh, another DNS, which will be 207, uh, 67.222.222, that's open DNS. And uh, I want my NTP server to be 172.116.1.255.255. Um, which is this Microtik device. And uh, I want to check the pool because I remembered that um, I do not want to use all of those IPs for my DHCP. I just want um, IPs from the, uh, let's say from the 50 to the 100 range. And uh, let's uh, just select this, copy and create a pool uh, and I also want um, the IPs from 150 to 199 so uh, I customized that pool so my users will get IPs from the 50 from the 10.11.12.50 to the um, 100 address and uh, then on from the 150 to the 199. So uh, um, I have room for my static servers, from my access points, for my uh, what have you, whatever. So uh, you uh, divide you you have uh, what I have done is that I have divided the pool so that I have customized the addresses that will be handed out to my users so then again thank you for watching David again signing off remember Microtik training at www.dghvoip.com remember comment rate subscribe and thanks for watching. Have a good one.